Hey everyone, I am so excited to bring you this video that took quite a long time to research and it's in two parts. The first part is we're going to talk about my experience with false lashes, putting them on and recommendations. And then the second part, which hasn't happened yet, is I'm going to go get a lash lift. Which is basically like getting a perm for your lashes. I'm not getting them tinted as well because where I'm going doesn't do tints. Just the lift. I don't mind slapping on some mascara. Kind of just want to see what it looks like. So let's start with false lashes. This all started with the idea that I wanted to learn a new skill. I like my lashes the way they are. I know that I am genetically blessed. I have long lashes. They're pretty dark for what they are. I mean, I do have mascara on, but I have good lashes. I have no complaints, but like anything else, it's never good enough what we have, right? If we have fair skin, we want to be tan. If we have long hair, we think about having it short. If, anyway, you know what I mean. So I kind of wanted to try having long, thick, gorgeous lashes that we all see all the YouTubers, those beautiful lash extensions or the fake lashes, they just pop on. I want to be able to have that too. Unfortunately, I wasn't particularly skilled at it. Now I had tried lash extensions. I did a whole video on that. I will link it up here and down there. And long story short, I think lash extensions are great for certain kinds of people. They just didn't work for me. Can you see that I'm blinking my eyes a lot right now? It's at the end of the day. I'm actually just about to go for date night with my husband, Michael. So I thought this is a great time to pop on some lashes. But part of the problem, sorry, I'm so tired, with me having tired eyes is that if you have stuff like lash extensions or even fake lashes sitting on your eyes, it makes your eyes feel so heavy. So... Lash extensions for a variety of reasons didn't work for me. So I thought, and still kind of do feel, that false lashes or fake lashes are a great happy medium. I can wear them when I want them, and I can peel them right off or choose not to put them on when I don't want to wear them. The problem is I didn't know how to do them. This is not an innate skill. You can't just open a pit. Well, maybe you can. I could not just open a container, pop them on, and go. Here are my tips. Number one, get a good lash glue. My personal favorite, after having tried the traditional squeezy tube of Duo Lash, I have both the dark and the clear gel. I have, like I said, both of them. I have um, the Andrea Brush-On Strip Lash, which I actually do like. I had a Revlon one. I don't know where that one went. And the one that is the winner for me and was highly recommended to me by Lisa Lisa D1 is the Duo Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive White Clear. Looks like that. Speaking of Lisa Lisa D1, while we're here, her Instagram got hacked. If you didn't see that video, she goes into all that, but she had to actually start a new account, the real Lisa Lisa D1. And I will put a link to her new Instagram account. If, and please go over there. Um, go follow her on Instagram. She had almost 40,000 followers. It takes a long time to build up that kind of following and it was gone in the blink of an eye. It's heartbreaking. So please go over there and follow Lisa. You will adore her. She is just the kindest, most easygoing, generous woman. And if you want to know about false lashes, she is the false lash guru. She actually gave me a lot of great insight. Anyway, she told me to get this and she is right. Why I like it well, other than the obvious, it dries quickly. So you don't have to sit there and wait for your glue to set. You don't have to draw it on the back of your hand and then dab it on. It's not messy. It's a brush on brush, which is hard to see, but it is, I assure you. You just paint it on where you need it. You can dab a little extra on the corners and slap it right on. That's number one. Number two, you have to practice. Like I said before, kind of putting on false lashes is like a sport. You can't just show up for your very first football game having never practiced, never put on pads, don't know the place, and think you can just waltz out on the field and be the next rookie of the year. No. It takes practice. Like anything you want to do well, practice, practice, practice. And by practice, I don't just mean practicing putting them on, practicing measuring them, all that stuff. Also practice slash experiment with a variety of lashes. Everyone's eyes are shaped differently. We have different personal preferences. So there's all kinds of sizes, um, lengths, styles, bandwidths. I don't like the kind that have a very thick, almost like built-in black eyeliner. I have very tiny little eyeballs to begin with, squinty little eyes. The last thing I need is something that's going to take up more of that space. It's very heavy looking. I don't generally wear thick black eyeliner, so that personally didn't work for me. Now, if you have nice, big, beautiful eyes with a lot of eyelids, 
that might be easier for you to put on. It might be a nice two-in-one. You kind of get your eyeliner effect and your lashes all in one. So just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. Also, like I said, tiny little squinty eyes. So I personally, where are they? Okay, again, we'll talk about why they're not here in a minute, but my standout favorite for every day are the Ardell Baby Wispies. Everyone loves the Ardell Demi Wispies. I have the double layered ones right here and they're great for like a big night out or extra glam, but they are pretty dramatic still even for natural and they are pretty big on my squinty little eyes. Ardell has a whole baby line and they're smaller for us little size challenged eyeball people. So Baby Wispies were the standout but I also really, really love pretty much all of the Kiss Lashes. I find that their bands are a lot more flexible. They're not quite invisible, but they're pretty close. Um, and the ones that I like for every day are the Ever Easy Lashes Style 03. These babies right here. And as you can see, they're longer in the middle. Some people prefer them to be longer on the edges. The Demi Lashes are longer on the outside corners. But can you see that they're in definite clumps? That makes it easier for me to figure out where I'm going to measure them to cut because I want them to be cut evenly, obviously. My face is wonky enough. I don't need lopsided eyelashes. Some of my other favorites from this experiment are the Ardell 110s. They're right here. Those are just evenly spaced. These are really just for natural looking kind of everyday. I like an accent pair. These are the Eyelore number 003s. These are nice because they're smaller and they're really meant to just be not the full length of your lid, but in my case, they basically are. So accent lashes are wonderful for beginners. Speaking of beginners, Ardell has these pre-cut lashes. So you can kind of decide, you can kind of decide how many of the clumps you want to put on your lashes. The problem I have with this, again, is because they're in individual clumps, and there is the option of buying like individual clump lashes too, is that I can't get them even evenly placed on each eye. So they don't all point in the same direction. I didn't personally care for these. And another major fail were the magnetic eyeliner eyelashes. The reason these didn't work for me is mostly because of the eyeliner. It's You have to draw on a pretty thick black liquid liner. Well, if you think I'm terrible at false lashes, you should see me at liquid liner. It's even worse. So if you're not already used to putting on liquid liner, it's just a whole other thing you've got to learn. Um, but I will say putting them on was quite easy. They literally just attach. It's the craziest thing. I got mine on Amazon. They came in this really nice case, I have to say. They came with the liquid liner, and the one good thing is they came with this tool for placing them on your eye, which has really come in handy. I like it a lot. So I'm going to put in the description box the list of recommended lashes. I polled you on Instagram, and I got some great recommendations. Lots. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to try all of them, but I will include the ones that got many, many, many votes. It wasn't just like one outlier who said, I love this. So I'll put those in the description box if you're looking for some recommendations, all different kinds of, from pageant queens to everyday normal people. I got all kinds of recommendations. Two more tips and then we'll just get into this. I'm a little nervous doing this on camera. Number one, stand up to put them on. Now I'm going to sit down because I'll be out of the camera range but it is so much easier to be looking down into the mirror. I don't know why, it's just the way your lid is angled and the way the, your own lashes lie, it is infinitely easier to be looking down. And while you could just tuck your head and look down, like I'm doing right now, it is even easier to stand up and look down into a, a mirror that's like on a pedestal or something. So give that a go. My other biggest piece of advice is start with your weaker eye. It is just psychologically easier if you get the hardest part done first, because then you know you can get your other eye down. So for me, I'm left-handed. My better eye is obviously my left eye. So I, when I, I always have a better outcome when I start with my right eye. I get, I'm a little more precise on that end, and then I can just more quickly slap the stronger side on. Okay, that was a lot of babbling. Hope you're still here. Let's put on some lashes. So today I'm going to go with the Kiss ones that I mentioned. I got mine at Walmart. Walmart probably has one of the best selections, obviously the least expensive options. Amazon is another really good option, especially Red Cherry was a line that was recommended a lot. A lot of Red Cherry options on Amazon. I haven't tried those yet though, but 
they got probably the most recommendations behind the Ardell um, 110s and the Ardell Baby Wispies. So I'm gonna go with these Kiss ones. I'm gonna assume you know nothing about putting on lashes, so just bear with me. When you look at the container, that's how they line up for your face. So make sure you've got, now in this case, they're pretty much symmetrical, but the inner corner is, a, is particularly tapered to fit your inner eye. So make sure you've lined up the left eye with the left eye and so forth, obviously. The other thing is we have to trim them. Unless you are blessed with nice big doe eyes, I am not. You, I'm gonna have to cut some of these. And when you cut, you have to cut from the outside. Because once you cut, it's gonna have a sharper, duller edge. And if you do it on the inside and it's poking you right here, I cannot tell you how uncomfortable and annoying that is. So cut from the outside, you won't get poked. I hate that they're attached to these things. All of them are like this. Um, because the act of pulling them off can often ruin them. So what I like to do is actually manipulate the package to kind of pop them off a little bit, and kind of loosen them up. And then I try to take a tool. One of the nice things about buying all these completely random sets of lashes is I got some great tools. Like I said, I got this one from the Magnetic Lash. This one I think was from one of the Ardell lashes or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I like this one in particular because it has a little silicone tip at this end, which is really helpful for pushing the lashes into the base of your lid there. I like to peel again from the outside because I'm gonna cut that off anyway, so if that part gets a little bit wonky, it's not the end of the world. The nice thing about having them glued onto the little tray is that you can then kind of place it on your eye and kind of see where we're going. So I like to, what I like to do is hold it in the dead center, and I know I'm not using the thingy tool, I will, and then line that up with the dead center of my eye, which obviously is my pupil. And from there we can kind of see, okay, it's really hanging over here quite a bit. So it's hanging over about, about four clumps. So I'm just gonna count four clumps from the out the outer edge and cut that off. It's nice to have a tiny little cuticle scissors. You can get these in the nail aisle. And now I know to cut the same amount from the other one. I do not like to curl my lashes before I put my fake lashes on, and I do like to put the mascara on, just like a light coat. I'm using the Trish McAvoy tubing mascara. I feel like curling them might bend them in a way that isn't going to fit the lashes, I have no idea if I'm right or not. That's just what I've been doing. Please chime in if you think I'm messing this up. What I like to do is slide my little tool, get it so it's right centered, and then I hold the glue like this. It doesn't spill. And then I just start dabbing it on. Let me give you another piece of advice. This stuff, is stickier than you think. If you put on too much glue, it gets everywhere. It's not a good thing. Because this is quick dry, I don't have to wait. So again, I'm gonna line this up with the center of my eye because hopefully I did this right. I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna slide, look down. Slide that on. And of course, it is sticking to the tool. So, <laughs> when in doubt, use your fingers. Okay, pressing it in the middle, then I press the corner in, and then I line up the other corner. I haven't done this in a couple of weeks. Definitely, if you don't keep up with it, it's kind of a disaster. You can take that, any of the tools really, I, like I said, I like this one, and just kind of push it, make sure it's stuck there. We'll fluff it in a minute, but I want it to set. Now let's do the other one. I'm gonna not use the tool because clearly that didn't work. Actually, I'm gonna try, I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm gonna try this one. This is yet another one. I can't remember. This might be the Eyelore one. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in the middle, kind of at the very edge of the lash. Get my glue. If you're gonna add extra, it's best to add it to the corners because those are the ones that lift. And then we're gonna do the same thing, line it up. Cannot do this for an audience, this is intimidating. 
And in this case, you gotta work fast because that quick dry is no joke. There we go. Let me just get that corner down. Hang on. That wasn't awful. It wasn't great, but it wasn't awful. Now this one is set, so I'm gonna just kind of push it with my finger and kind of push everybody up together. And I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. Just kind of push it up. Make sure those corners are down. I will not lie, you can feel them for about a minute or so. And then like anything else, you just sort of get used to it and then you really, you don't feel them at all. But I found that as the day went on and I got tired, I just couldn't wait to peel them off my eye. Now, the correct way to remove these would be to take like eye makeup remover or I prefer using like the Colleen Rothschild um, cleansing balm and just kind of rub it or like a cleansing oil and you know rub it on your eye and that'll dissolve the glue and you can peel them off. So why do I not have, where's my case, my baby wispies? Because I pulled them off somewhere and stuck them probably on a coffee table or next to my desk and they're gone. I don't know if they blew off the table. If a dog ate them, I don't want to think about it. So that's a problem. Keep the cases so you don't have wandering eyelashes. I personally have found that even though I am high maintenance when it comes to hair care, getting my hair colored every five weeks, getting my nails done every two weeks, the false lashes for me are just too much for every day. I do like them for a couple of occasions. One, special occasions. It's nice to have, these are just prettier. This looks prettier. It's not, these aren't even particularly dramatic, but of course, it, they're just prettier. They are, that is it. The other reason, if it's really, really humid outside and you're worried about your mascara running or you're going to an event where you're gonna be crying and you're worrying about your mascara running, lashes, don't even bother putting on mascara. Just pop these suckers on, you are good to go. Nothing's melting off your face. So there are definite advantages to wearing false lashes. Um, I'm just not that girl. They're just not gonna be an everyday thing for me. I'm glad I did it for like a week or two weeks, I think it was, closer to two weeks of every day. I can't do anymore. I'm back wearing a totally different outfit and makeup because my intention was to do the second half of the video with my lash lift experience, but the video that you're watching is already long enough. So we're stopping it here. I have had my lashes lifted. I'm blinking a lot. Um, I had my lashes lifted yesterday actually. And so sneak peek there. But uh, if you want to hear about my lash lift experience and what I think and what my final thoughts are on all of this stuff, then make sure you're subscribed and that video will go up here on my channel on September 24th. This is a good time to not just subscribe, but hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss that one or any of the other ones that are coming up. Uh, as we can also see, still not like 100% down with putting on the lashes, although I am going to claim performance anxiety there. It's a whole different thing when you're doing it on camera than when you can just take your time and nobody's watching and I could stand up. That's a lot of excuses. The reality is some days I nail it and some days I don't. So lashes, fake ones anyway, probably not for me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. If you're interested in trying, don't let this make you afraid to try. You should try anything you want, whether it's learning how to put on fake lashes, learning how to sing, learning how to play the piano or skydiving at an advanced age. You go for it. Learning at any age is never uh, a waste of time. It's just a waste of an opportunity if you don't do it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be wearing all this. Maybe not the next video, but soon. Bye.